welcome back to the channel. So long time viewers may recognize this hide. Yes, indeed, it is RSPB Lake and Heath's Mir hide. And the reason I'm starting the video here is because my DJI Pocket 2 decided to come up with some kind of memory card slow error or basically it was saying that it couldn't write to the SD card because it was too slow. So after a bit of research, if you don't format the card when you say go out on a separate day, it can come up with this error and it'll basically just stop recording. So I lost half a day's worth of footage, which isn't ideal and it seems to be like an ongoing theme. I think the last, I think it was two weeks ago since I made the last video. And in that time, something's happened that I like to call the Triangle of Doom. So effectively, the, <laughs> the Triangle of Doom is a triangle. Inside of said triangle lives my wildlife photography. Now on each point of the triangle are machine guns in fortified bunkers. At the top, we have my work. To the right, we have life slash family. And to the left, we have <laughs> the UK British weather. So all of those things have been conspiring against me. Obviously the last video was done down at the river local to me. And in that time, not only has the flood water pretty much had time to recede, last, last couple of occasions I went down there, there was absolutely nothing whatsoever. So yeah, the weather has been absolutely atrocious. Um, sure, my Lumix G9 and the 100 to 400 are both weather sealed. And I do really trust them. I have trusted them out in the rain before. But with the sort of rain we've been having, effectively, if one of these breaks, that's the end of my YouTube channel. I can't just go out and replace them. So yeah, I have to be a little bit sensible. So yeah, and then work. I work 12 hour shifts, day shifts and night shifts, which mess me up equally. And then life and family just get in the way as well. So it's been, it's been really difficult. So I started off at um, the visitor center and I was able to get some cool slow motion video shots and um, I was using the pre-burst function on the Lumix G9, seeing if I could get some you know, in-flight shots of the birds. Even though I was at ISO 6400, um, I wasn't too fussed because there's a big deal made about um, high ISOs on micro four thirds cameras. And the way I see it is all cameras will have noise at those ISOs. Um, these just have a bit more. And it doesn't phase me at all, but I definitely, definitely want to get the Lumix G9 II. This original G9, I find the handling, everything about it, like the, the top plate, just the size, the weight of it. Um, the I actually really like the sensitive shutter because you don't shake too much. Um, but there's one huge thing that I've been struggling with on this camera and I've been using it for about four or five years now. And that's the contrast detect autofocus. So the G9 II now has, I think it's 759 phase detect autofocus points, which is huge. Um, you have to remember that these are micro four thirds, they're small sensors. So that many phase detect points on a, you know, a smaller a sensor is, is huge. And from what I've seen, stuff like the pre-burst with the original G9, I believe you can do 60 FPS. You can do 60 FPS with your 4K, 6K photo modes. Um, but I believe using the SH1 and SH2 Pre, I can't remember if it's 50 or 60 that they'll go up to, but that's kind of irrelevant because the issue is yes, in single autofocus, you may capture your subject just leaping off of a branch. And obviously that, that's all you'll get because you're not using continuous autofocus. When you use continuous autofocus, the same thing effectively happens. The autofocus just isn't quick enough. Um, so the bird will sort of jump off the branch and then the autofocus will lose it. And it's, it's a really good feature, but 
the, the camera has been left out. I mean, it's the biggest bugbear anyone's had with Panasonic cameras. So the fact that they've brought out, you know, a Lumix G92 with this fixed, you know, the biggest issue I had with this camera, or the only issue I had with this camera, it is huge. Obviously, the fact that it's gained another five megapixels doesn't really phase me. I'd have been happy with 20 and better low light performance, but you know, 25 is fine. Um, you know, you've got a bit more room to crop. And yeah, all the extra cool video and photo features um, is it, just something that I definitely, definitely want to do. It's just a matter of saving now. Talking of money, I've actually set up a Buy Me A Coffee account. Effectively, a lot of people on YouTube have it and it's just your way of showing your support for the channel. So you kind of buy me a coffee. Um, it's completely voluntary, you don't have to do so, you're not obliged to do so. But if you did feel inclined to help me out and you know help me fund the channel and make exciting new videos, um, that would be great. Now, I'll leave up some of the pictures that I got earlier on before the, the camera died. Um, at the minute, I've got a grey lag out in front of me, but that's about it. Um, one thing to note is that I've not been here in so long and the reeds have grown up massively like this. There's so many reeds. So yeah, I'm going to um, chill out for maybe an hour or two. Um, there wasn't a lot of light today to start with, so I expect that, you know, it's going to be quite an early, it's going to get dark quite early today. So yeah, I'll leave you with them and uh, we'll see what we can see. So I'm now leaving Mirhide because it's about half past four and the light is fading fast. Um, sadly, with all wildlife photography, it's completely unpredictable. Um, perhaps Mirhide wasn't the best <laughs> best choice, um, but at least I sort of had the foresight to spend a lot of time at the visitor center. And yeah, that was pretty successful. So yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching the video. It's been a bit of an odd one. Um, technical difficulties and uh, yeah the triangle of doom <laughs> but yeah I will absolutely see you on the next one take care